Ayo, welcome back guys. Today we're making the best donuts in the world. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see today and you guys chose cat bus donuts. As for special tools that you will need to make these donuts, you will need a stand mixer. It'll just be a huge mess if you work with it with your hands. It's just not gonna be a good thing, so. All right, to our mixing bowl, we're gonna add some warm milk. We're gonna use one teaspoon of instant yeast. Sounds so weird. Mixy mix and cover for five to ten minutes. Meanwhile, sift your flour to ensure a fluffy donut. And then add it when your yeast is bubbling. Bruh. <laughs> Every gram counts, guys. Next is some nutmeg for a little bit of warmth. And some eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Should we stop the video now? No, we're gonna keep going. Attach your dough hook and mix for around 8 minutes. Then drop in half of your butter. And mix until it's incorporated. And then drop the last half. Your dough should look sticky and stretchy. Take notes, guys. Butter a bowl and transfer your gooey mixture. It might look weird at first, but just trust the process. Cover it for around an hour. So we're waiting for our dough to rise to double its size. It's gonna take roughly 50 minutes to an hour. In the meantime, we are gonna get our icing ready. Typical donuts use icing sugar, so we're doing the same, but we're making it thicker so we can decorate some fine details. Transfer a tablespoon of icing into each of the two bowls and color one yellow for the eyes and pink for the nose. For the rest of the icing, we're using cocoa powder to get brown, and we're adding a little bit of milk to get back to the old consistency because the powder made it a little bit drier. Transfer it to piping bags. And now that it's been around an hour, it's time for us to take out the dough. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. So it's gonna double in volume. It's gonna be super jiggly. Dust some flour and pop your dough over. Carefully pat to get rid of the large air bubbles. It's nice and pillowy. So cute. Then divide it into six. Fold it inwards to get a smooth top. Just like this. Just don't put too much flour because then you don't want your dough to lose its consistency. But you just need enough so that it doesn't stick. Continue for the rest of the dough. I transferred mine to individual parchment paper for easier handling. And cover again for another 30 minutes. Now it's time to fry. I finally got one of these bad boys. And this is a good way for you to know that your donuts are being cooked at the right temperature. Keeping it in the range of 350 to like 375 is a good ideal place to deep fry. Alright, while that's heating up, it's gonna take a while. We're gonna go ahead and make the filling. Cat Bless's teeth are white. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it plain. You know, we've worked hard enough on everything else. I just want to relax. Anyways, while she relaxes, it's time to check our donuts. We're gonna do a poke test on this one. So we're just gonna poke and it should come back like 75% of the way. If you press it and it doesn't spring back, that means you've overproofed it. That means you got a bad donut. If you press it and it springs all the way back like to its original state, then that means it's not done proofing. So this one's good to go. Frying's gonna go by quick. So get your sugar ready and also some like drying racks. You know, drying racks? Frying racks? I don't know. But get one of those. Go ahead and plop your donuts in carefully. And fry for around 2 minutes per side. The yellow line in the center means that we've done a great job. This means that it was fluffy enough that it hovers at the top of the oil and this is also called the proof line. If you happen to have any holes at the bottom of your donut, 
can go ahead and close them up by just pinching it because if you don't do that, you'll end up with something like this. So just pinch it closed. I've already done it here. You can kind of see it. Now roll it in sugar while it's still hot. So fluffy. And continue with the rest of your donuts. And maybe do a happy dance too. They look so good. I'm gonna cut into one. Like I just cannot wait. Um, oh my god, it like, it melts in your mouth and you don't even know that you're eating it. Does that make any sense? I'm so jealous. Mm. Now that we have everything ready to go, it's time to decorate! So we're gonna poke a hole here. Add in your roasted almonds for the ears. And decorate like the brown thing on his head. I don't know what to call it. My noses are like a straight line. And then there's like a little bloop at the bottom. While it's still wet, you can still fix your icing. And then add your eyes. Ooh, you're looking creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> and I use a little bit of icing on a toothpick to apply the little, I don't know, lines. <laughs> Next are the whiskers. He actually has four, but it's really hard to put four. I'm running out of space. Just, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Next time I do this, I'm not gonna roll it in sugar so the icing could stay put. Yep. We're gonna start from the back. All right, and then, you know, the amount is up to you. I clean it up by doing this. I really wanted to recreate his teeth here, um, but I'm not sure if it turned out right. <laughs> Anyways, finish his ears by adding a little bit more chocolate. Yeah, I don't know about the teeth. I might take that part out. And I did. <laughs> if you wanted a plain one, you could just do it like this. The same process. What do you guys think? Mmm. Everything here is so light and it just feels like you're not eating anything. I literally think if no one was watching, I could eat all six at once. Alright guys, that is the video today. If you made it all the way here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know which donut you prefer. Did you like the plain one? Or did you like the cat quest one? <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. <laughs>